Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Wow. Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. That was the very first five shot group I shot out of this Wilson Combat 300 hammer after swapping out the loophole that they sent with it for something with a little bit more magnification for my 48 year old eyes. And I didn't even have my good microphone set up. So that's why you hear those fans that are on the range sounding like a turboprop on a taxiway in, in the background. Of course, I was super impressed with what I saw down range, but wait until you see the rest of my accuracy testing with these other rounds right here. I'll be honest, when Wilson Combat first told me about this project, their new 300 hammer, I thought the same thing many of you are probably thinking watching this video. Why do we need yet another 30 caliber round based on a 5.56 case? They offered to build me this tactical hunter for me to see for myself. What they sent me was a match grade hunting rifle that hits harder and shoots flatter than any other 30 caliber round based on a 5.56 case. It also turns out to be one of the most accurate rifles I own of any kind, any caliber. And that's why the Wilson Combat 300 Hammers was coming up next on Twang and Bang. The 300 Hammer series of rifles are built upon Wilson Combat's extensive line of ARs. In fact, only the barrel differs from the equivalent configurations in 5.56 and 300 Blackout that Wilson Combat offers. This is the Tactical Hunter model, which is built on their lightweight billet upper mated to their already lightweight standard billet lower. Lightning cuts are found on both sides of the upper, along with a generous groove cut into the rail on top. The receiver foregoes a forward assist, though the bolt carrier maintains a thumb ledge for manually pushing the bolt into battery when needed. The lower houses a Wilson Combat TT m 2 which is a four pound two stage match trigger that has an extremely crisp break as well as a very nice reset. Behind the trigger is Wilson Combat's version of the Bravo Company Gunfighter Mod 3 grip, which is cut with a very grippy starburst pattern that I find noticeably better in the hand than BCM standard texture. The carbine receiver extension holds a 37 coil chrome silicon flat wire recoil spring behind a standard carbine buffer. A Rogers Superstock provides adjustable length of pull with solid lockup via a locking lever on its right side. The 12 inch M lock handguard comes with three rail covers for extra grip. It houses a non-adjustable gas block and in this case an 18 inch fluted match grade barrel. 20 inch and unfluted barrels are also available. All barrels come with the thread protector over 5 8 by 24 threads for you to add your favorite muzzle device or silencer. Wilson Combat's proprietary armor tough ceramic finish in either green or black is included while other colors and even camo patterns like seen here are available for additional cost. The premium mil spec bolt carrier group is straight out of a Wilson Combat 5.56 complete with super Super slick MP3 coating and laser etched logo. Seven different loads ranging from 110 grains all the way to 150 grains are available straight from Wilson Combat with other manufacturers already lining up to offer their own options. Though 300 Hammer will fit in some standard 5.56 mags, mags optimized for 300 Blackout are recommended to ensure best reliability. The 300 Hammer was originally called the 3030 AR because it delivers the equivalent of 30-30 ballistics in an AR platform. These are almost the same bullet. There are 150 grain soft points in each of these. Depending on load, it'll generate between 2,300 and 2,600 feet per second of velocity and between 1,700 and 1,800 foot-pounds of kinetic energy at the muzzle of an 18-inch barrel like this one. That's about 40% more kinetic energy than a 300 blackout. The name was switched after Wilson Combat success with their much larger 458 hammer, especially since its target market is largely the same. The name is a play on ham as in pork and the apostrophe R for the hammer-like effect it has on hogs. If you thought the cartridge looks like a stretched out 300 blackout, you're pretty much right. The case is about a quarter inch longer, allowing for greater powder charge while keeping pressures reasonable. However, even though it matches the power of 3030 at the muzzle. It managed to do so with about two-thirds the powder of the noticeably larger cartridge. While this cartridge was designed around 3030 ballistics, the 300 hammer can use pointed bullets that would be unsafe in the tubular magazine found on most 3030 rifles. That's because they're stacked on top of each other in a box mag versus sitting tip to primer like they would in a standard 3030. 
This means you're going to get better downrange bullet flight and retain energy due to the increased ballistic coefficient of bullets like these. A 300 hammer can get away with this now because of the advent of magazines optimized for the 300 blackout. Internal ribs that are found on standard 5.56 mags are generally smaller or even non-existent on mags that are optimized for 300 blackout. And this helps to keep the cartridges from binding up when they get loaded. Here I've got 20 rounds already loaded into a 30 round D&H mag that's optimized for 300 blackout. And you can see they're nice and straight. This is a standard 30 round P mag. And I'll show you as I load, just trying to get five rounds in there. They go in fine at the top, but as you start to add them, the rib right there starts to push the round in to where it's going to start binding on the rib that's in the front. You can see that that's what it looks like on the inside. And these side ribs are pushing the 300 hammer rounds to where the bullet is going to start to bind on that front rib. And that's the problem you're going to get trying to load 300 hammer certain rounds. Now you see it's already, it's already all cattywampled in there. I might be able to yeah, nope. <laughs> that's it. That's it. There, and that's not going to feed. So certain bullets and overall lengths you might be able to get to work in a standard 5.56 mag, but you really need to stick to the 300 blackout mags and it's going to be beautifully reliable. They tested the round to make sure it worked with these mags. That said, Wilson Combat is not claiming that 300 hammer is going to replace 300 blackout. In fact, 300 blackout variants are their most popular variants in their ARs behind their 5.56 variants. Instead, they wanted to offer hunters a flatter shooting, harder hitting option for ARs without requiring the change to a proprietary bolt or receiver size. In short, the 300 hammer generates the most kinetic energy you're going to get from a 5.56 case and a 30 caliber bullet. And that was the design intent. When shot out of a Wilson Combat like this, however, you're going to experience accuracy untouchable by the 30-30 rifles it matches in ballistics. With seven different loads available straight from Wilson Combat, you already have a lot of choices in 300 hammer factory loaded ammo. Though the bullets used are meant for taking game, they're all loaded to match grade, just as you'd expect from anything with the Wilson Combat logo on it. <laughs> It just keeps printing groups like that. That's crazy. Wow. This, this might be the most accurate gas gun that I own. The other one is also a Wilson. My Wilson Combat 308 Super Sniper is by far my most accurate gas gun. And this might give it a run for the money at 100 yards anyway. That's fantastic. And that's hunting ammo. That's a soft point bullet. That's insane. <laughs> That's fantastic. Even the largest five shot groups I was getting were just barely over one MOA at 100 yards, which is well beyond what most hunters expect from something like a 3030. But this is not a 3030. The 300 Hammer is a thoroughly modern cartridge that delivers modern expectations for group sizes. Even though I understood that before my testing, I was still thrilled that the vast majority of my groups were under three quarters of an MOA with many much smaller than that. Holy crap! That is one ragged hole. Three shots, 100 yards. One ragged hole, four shots. And this is a soft point bullet. That's insane. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh. I'm just glad I didn't choke. I mean, that last one wasn't in that group, but holy crap. I can't wait to measure that out on the computer. I think that's a 0.3, 0 0.4 MOA group, five shot group, four shots just right on top of each other with a soft point bullet. Yeah, I know a lot of people are going to be wondering, like, why? Why do you need another 30 caliber AR round? That's why. That's why.
At 200 yards, 40% more kinetic energy than 300 blackout. Less than 50% of the drop of 300 blackout at 200 yards. And you can buy a gun and ammo that prints like that all day long. That's insane. Man, I love this. Love this, love this. By now it should be clear what Wilson Combat means when they say they build match grade hunting rifles. If you miss with this rifle, it's totally on you. It's also a really soft shooter. Here's where I would say that this would make a great rifle for a young hunter, but you'd have to really, really love your kid to buy them one of these because this retails for $2,650. Other variants range in price from $2,600 all the way to about $3,700 for one that's ready to hunt, complete with optic and scope rings included. Of course, if you have the budget for a rifle like this, that's just one more excuse to get one for yourself. Be sure to read my full written review at the link in the video description below. I'm active most days on Facebook and Instagram. You can see the links right here. And be sure to sign up for my mailing list. It's the only way to be sure to keep in contact no matter what happens to gun content here on YouTube or any other social media. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.